Okay, my latest idea is to take the energy from this alternator, rectify it, stuff it into that supercapacitor bank, like I did last video, and have a battery across it too, or not. And uh, also, take at the same time, take energy off the run cap phase to a transformer that's in series to the L3 line and run that output through a full wave bridge rectifier to make it into DC and run that into this too. So we're going to be filling it from two different sources the run cap phase and the alternator. So I'm going to uh, show you kind of step by step what I'm thinking. Uh, and right now I have what's coming out of here, which is 44 volts coming out of here. And uh, the uh, low ohm side, the lower voltage side, and here's the high ohm 9.9. That's a that's in series to the run cap phase. And it's climbing very fast, the, uh, the uh, super cap. And I don't want to exceed 16 volts on that, or there'll be trouble. Okay, so give me a sec and we'll, we'll start from zero here, square one, let's call it. Okay, just a minute. Okay, step A, I have a 4 UF run cap across L2 and L3, like a rotoverter circuit. I have no load on anything over here. And we have about seven, 70 milliamps draw, which is what I've been getting. A little bit more than seven Maybe it's because it's in the sun or something, I don't know. But this is the basic thing, and then the alternator's not loaded, it's just spinning, okay? Basic 70 to 80 milliamp draw, and 120 volt, 60 hertz. Okay, so now, step two, I'm gonna run the, uh, 9.9 ohm side of this transformer in series. Here's the two wires from the transformer. And it's going to go between one side of that cap and the L3 line up here. And the L3 line goes to one side of the cap. So this is in series. This is called a vector. Okay, and the L2 line goes to the other side of the cap. Okay, very simple. Uh, the L2 line also shares one of the AC power inputs. It's the rotor, rotoverter run cap phase circuit. Okay, so now I'm going to unhook. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. Hold on. Okay, step two. I have the L3 line into one side of this transformer half. Transformer primary, I guess it is. And it comes out the other half and it goes to here, the other side of the run cap, and it goes to two. So now I have this transformer vectored and it's in series to the L3 line. It's not parallel. It's not parallel. It's in series to one line. Okay, but look what happens when I do that. The draw goes up all the way to 210 milliamps, and it used to be about 70 milliamps. So you think that's not going to work. But, what's this? I showed this in a previous video. I go over here, 
and I put a wire, I short out the secondary of this transformer. Just short it out. Short it out. It's shorted out now. See that? And look what happens. It goes way back down. Still a little bit more. About 20 milliamps more draw, but that's a lot better than 210. And uh, what do we got for voltage coming out of this now? Now when I do voltage, it's still going to be a high draw because the voltage has no resistance when you check it. Now uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Oops. About 44 volts. It's about 44 volts coming out of here. Okay, and like I said, because we're just looking at voltage, there's no resistance, and so the draw is still bad, it's still up. And of course, I don't have it shorted out on the secondary. Now let's see what the amp is across the secondary in AC. Actually, let's keep it in, let's put it in DC. DC. All I have to do is switch this around. Okay, now I'm going to put it in DC, 20 amp. That's pretty good, uh, pretty good amperage. And look, because we're now shorting it out with an ammeter, the draw goes down. That is what is very cool about doing a vector transformer. If I had a parallel transformer, the draw would be ridiculous over there. But with a vector transformer, with a series, and you get and and you put a load on it. In this case, it's an ammeter across it. Well, look at all those amps. And. Uh, now, uh, let's go for the next step, and I'll put the full way bridge DC of 44 volts across this battery to charge it. So, one second. Okay, the battery says 12.5 volts before we start charging it. I'm going to charge it from right here into a full-way bridge rectifier and the DC across the battery. As soon as I hook this up, it's going to be hooked up. Let's see what the draw is now. Draw is big. Draw is big. Because there's no load on this side of it. That's what happens. Now, there we go. Now the battery is charging from what's coming out of here that's rectified and look at that voltage climb. Definitely getting charged, especially since it's 44 volts going in there. And remember that was at 0 0.21, now it's at 130 milliamps. It's kind of high draw, but you know, Not that bad. Okay, now, I just thought I'd do the battery first. Remember, it's 44 volts. So I'm going to see what the voltage is in this super cap. Now. Voltage in the super cap is 11 volts. Now, let's hook that 44 volts and 380 milliamps. Don't do anything stupid here. Here's the negative. 
And here's the positive. There we go. Okay. Now this is the voltage across the super cap now. Climbing at a good rate with the super cap in the load. And of course rectified. Coming and this is what the power is coming from, you know, in series here. And look at the draw now, it's not too bad. Maybe 14 watts this thing's pulling right now. And the super cap's going up at a good rate. I wonder what the uh, amperage is going in. Uh, one moment, I'm gonna check that. Here's the amperage going into the super cap from the full-way bridge, which is being filled by the transformer in series. That's very good amps, actually. And there is the draw right now while it's filling the super cap with that 340 milliamps. So all so good, not so bad. Now, I'm going to make sure we don't blow up that super cap. Look at the voltage across there and monitor it. And I want to bring the stuff over here, or I'll bring it over here. I want to take what's coming out of the alternator right here, rectify this, and shove it into the super cap too. Okay, so one moment, this might take a little while. Okay, I vacated this space, brought, brought the transformer over here, I have a battery over here and the super camp over here now, and over the battery is 12.46 volts right now. And we have 90 milliamps, and this is with the uh, transformer in series vectored on the L3 line to the run cap phase that I was talking about. And I have, whoa, one moment. Is it going now? Yeah, okay, we're filming. Okay, so now I have a 90 milliamp straw. I have the DC side of the full wave bridge rectifier shorted out now. So our draw is not so much, but you know, watch what happens when I take the short off. Whoops. We short it out over here on the AC side. Okay, now the short is off, and that's what happens. Put the short on. Short is on, drops. And again, we're shorting the DC side of the full wave. Now, here's the uh, voltage of the battery, and I'm going to run this, put this on this battery first. We're looking at what's coming out of the alternator now. No, we're not. We're looking at what's coming out of the transformer still. So, whoops. When I charge this battery from the transformer, it's like before, 130 milliamps. And it's Climbing rapidly, this battery, okay? Now, let's put the alternator on this. Let this go free.
again, I'm going to uh, I'm shortening it out right now so the draw goes down. I'll put that down there ready to go. Now, let's do the alternator. I mean, the uh, yeah, the alternator into the battery and see what that's like. One moment. Okie dokie. Now we got what's coming out of the alternator. I know it's about 15 volts and it's going into a full wave bridge coming out in DC and we're charging the battery at this rate. It's not so bad. Our draw is pretty low, 110 milliamps, so it's drawn I don't know, a little over 12 watts or somewhere around there. Okay, so now, what am I going to do? I'm going to hook up the transformer and the alternator at the same time to the battery. And Remember the rate of charge going up. Just looking at voltage going up as well. Like that. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, we got double duty now. It's climbing fast. Shot up to 12.9. Draw went up. 150 milliamps. And so what we got is we got what's coming out of the transformer that's in series to the run cap phase. It's rectified. And it's filling this battery. And what's coming out of the alternator is rectified. And then it's filling it. So it's climbing like this. Remember, it was at 12.4 when we started. So now I'm going to fill this super cap with all this energy and see what happens then. Okay, one moment. Here's what's in the super cap right now. And I'm going to hook up this green wire and it's going to connect the circuit from the transformer to the super cap and see the draws a lot because there's no load on that side of the transformer again, the series transformer. Here we go, hooking it up. Whoa. This is now the transformer energy into the super cap. Goes up like that. And look what we're drawing. Now, possible this will be dangerous, so I'm going to hook up the alternator energy to the super cap as well. So here's one. No sparks. There's the draw right now. Here's what the super cap is, and now I hook up this over here. Now, we got them both going in. Nothing too dramatic. Actually, it's just, yeah, that's a pretty good rate. So going in here is about 44 volts of DC from here and about 15 volts DC from here. And here's the super cap. Now, isn't that weird? See, I was noticing this before. Watch, it'll drop. It's dropping, but then it shoots up. Now, it climbs pretty good rate. 
Maybe this is just the nature of uh, filling up the super cap. It'll get up here. It's filling pretty good. I can go up to 16 volts supposedly and it's safe. Don't know what to say. Uh oh, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, one moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the battery parallel to the super cap. Hope there's nothing to explode. Here we go. Hooked up. So we got a battery parallel to the super cap. The super cap is being filled by this and this at the same time. I have two full wave bridge rectifiers. So let's let that settle. Let's let it gain some voltage. I'm going to put this on pause. Almost got to the last stage here. The voltage is now 13 across both of these in parallel. Climbing pretty good. I got the positive and negative of this hooked to a stack power inverter which has half the draw as a normal inverter. Now all I gotta do is very quickly pull this out, stuff it in there, and then I will complete this experiment. So I'm going to put this on pause. So what happened? It stalled. I am going to call it a day. Maybe, no, I'm going to try one more time. No, I'm going to call it a day. Sorry if you didn't get to see something exciting, but it was exciting up to this point. wonder why it stalled. I have the battery. Maybe the battery's not in parallel. Just a minute. One moment. 